Well, a homecoming of sorts this weekend for Irv Phillips as he is a Connecticut native. Irv, you're getting to play in Connecticut this weekend. What's this going to be like for you? Uh, it's great. You know, it's a great feeling. I grew up in being a, uh, you know, a UConn basketball fan. My family loved the UConn system. So just being able to play in front of my family and friends at Renshaw Field is going to be uh, amazing. It's going to be exciting. Right. We'll forgive you for being a UConn fan because you grew up there. So we'll, yeah. we'll let that slide a little bit. But uh, how many are coming and what kind of support is there going to be in the stands for you on Saturday? <laughs> Right now, so far, I probably have around like 50 plus people coming. I know a lot of people are, um, a lot more people are going to be uh, asking me about tickets and stuff like that. But um, I'm just, just ready to go, just excited. You know, I had this one circled on my schedule for a while now, so hopefully I could play uh, well. I assume you've been planning well in advance to, to beg your teammates for tickets this week? Yeah, yeah. You know, they, they all knew I'm from Connecticut, so they like, they, they wouldn't mind having uh, giving me their tickets or anything like that. All right, how cool will this be for you personally to get to play in front of a group like that? Uh, it's just it's just amazing, you know. I'm I'm just ready to go, honestly. You know, I know a couple of guys on the UConn squad, so um, just to be able to play on the field with those guys again, it's kind of like uh, high, old old days, you know, high school time. So it's it's amazing. You ever play at uh, Rensselaer before in any high school state games or anything like that? Nah, I wanted to. That's where we played our um, state championship games usually, but um, I never got a chance to uh, make it there. All right, I got to ask you one more Connecticut question before we get into this year's football team. You're from West Haven. Okay. New Haven's known for its pizza, which is extremely different, right, than anywhere else. Tell, tell me about this pizza. What do, what do New Yorkers need to know about New Haven style pizza? Um, I don't know. It's one of those things like you just gotta you just gotta try it yourself. It's just a, it's just a different type of style, it's just a different type of just taste. You know, I know a lot of places are known for certain things, but the pizza is definitely like once you taste it, you'll definitely know like this is this is this is different. You got a favorite joint there? Uh, not really. There's a couple spots, but I really don't have a favorite one though. No. All right, so we'll, sometime we'll have to get over there, try some pizza with Irv Phillips in Connecticut. But you'll be there this weekend, Irv, for football. You're currently personally third in the country in catches. You and Amber are the second highest duo in catches in the country. What's it been like to be part of an offense like this through three games this season? You know, it's just humbling and just, you know, it's amazing, you know, um, just to be able to uh, put up the numbers that we're doing and just, just to be – uh, effective as we have um, it's just amazing you know and I'm just I'm just ready to see what else we can do you know the sky's the limit and I'm just ready to put up more numbers like that you know this is the first season where you've technically had wide receiver in front of your name as a year one you were running back last year you were the H back and now this what was the transition like for you personally to you know, you're going through all sorts of different positions, and now you're learning something completely new. Yeah, it was um, it was pretty smooth for me, you know, because I've been in the slot before. I've been in a receiver position, but I like it because it allows me to work on my craft more. You know, I can stay focused and uh, actually work on just being a receiver, not doing multiple things. So I think when you focus on one thing, you could you allow yourself to improve at a faster rate. Coach Babers has uh, complimented both you and Amba here in the first few weeks about that technique and working on your craft in the offseason. What was the process like? Because there is a lot of fine points to wide receiver play that you might not notice just watching a game. Yeah, you definitely have to be a student of the game with this offense. I mean, any offense, but um, just learning, um, recognizing defenses and um, taking advantage of certain things. You know, I feel like um, I'm coming a long way, but I'm still not there yet. But um, hopefully I could just be more effective and just make more plays. All right, Irv Phillips here. And Irv, speaking of plays, you guys ran 105 of them last week. You were on the field for uh, your fair share and maybe more than that. What's it like to physically run that many plays in one game? You know, um, I feel like we work so hard in practice. It's kind of it's kind of weird because I don't I don't I don't feel like it's that many plays. But you know, it does uh, it does um, work on your legs. You know, it does uh, wear the defense down. But um, it's something that's new. You know, we're still getting used to it. But um, I think I think we've been doing a good job with it so far. And what's the process like for you guys? You, you get, run all those plays. It doesn't result maybe in as many points as you'd like in one game. Where are you at in the learning of this, the understanding that this is how it works and that it will work? versus being anxious and ready to see it work right now? You know, I think first and foremost, we need to just work on not um, making so many mistakes. You know, I think it's gonna come with time. You know, I think we clean up little things. I think hopefully it'll transition, you know, being more effective, scoring more points, you know, cause this offense is built to score points. So I think we just need to clean up little things and uh, we'll, we'll get there soon. We saw that in the first quarter last week, you're up 17, nothing before we even really knew about it there as you were flying up and down the field. Right. When a quarter like that happens, is that encouraging to say, okay, we've done it for a quarter, this is a good base going forward? Right, exactly. It, sh it shows that we do have the potential to do that. You know, we just have to clean up certain things, and mm -hmm. the potential is there. You know, um, we just got to get after it and just get better as a unit. 
What have you noticed in Eric Dungy's growth in this offense as the year goes along? Um, I, I, I realize that he's kind of he's become more of a student of the game. You know, we, we get more film study in mm -hmm. and, you know, him recognizing certain things and calling out certain things on the field helps us as receivers because he, he, he gives us a chance to get uh, balls and you know, get catches and um, get ourselves open. So I think he's he's been a leader and he's definitely been somebody who's who's been a, a major part of our offense. All right, specifically with UConn here, the style they play offensively is about as different as what you guys do as you'd want, where they're going to huddle, ground and pound, slow it down, and you guys want to go fast, fast, fast. How different is this in the game where maybe you don't get as many drives just because of how they're playing here this week? You know, um, I feel like whenever we get our opportunity to get on the field, you know, we have to make the most of it. I'm not sure what they're going to do or what they're going to come with, but as long as we focus on what we do, I think we'll be all right. All right, Irv, big start for the season for you. Good luck and keep it going. Thank you. Thank you. Appreciate it.